electricity. A common household utility used for lights and what else? Uh, hair dryers? Has recently been the biggest topic of discussion within the motorcycle community. But what even is it? Apparently some guy in the 1700s used a kite to put it in a bulb and now we think we can use it to get around. Now if you're someone like me who only has bikes that use caveman technology like legs or explosions, you might be a bit taken aback by the idea of an electric motorcycle. Cars and bikes powered by this kite technology are becoming more and more popular and mainstream brands are even claiming to be fully electric like soon. Now I think it's been made pretty clear on my channel that I like combustion engines, loud noises, two strokes. <laughs> All of that, and I think it's about time we dive into the world of electric bikes. Fukari Bikes actually reached out to me and wanted to see if I was interested in reviewing one of their electric bikes. And being that I've never really had a chance to own or ride an electric bike, I said yes. So let's go ahead and open this thing, get it all assembled, and see what it's about. This is the Fukari Libra with a 750 watt hub motor and a 48 volt 20 amp hour battery. You can expect 35 to 45 miles of riding per charge. It has full front and rear suspension, a back seat big enough to fit your whole family, and an aluminum step through frame that's easy for anybody to get on. This bike right here really reminds me of two other bikes that I really enjoy riding. The first of which being my Pook Maxi 1980s moped. As you can see, there's obviously some similarities between these bikes. Obviously, I modded this thing way more than I should have and, you know, have a lot of fun with this thing doing stunts and stuff like that but they're really designed for the same thing. The other bike that has a similar use case as this that I really enjoy is my 1995 Honda Elite 50. Ride this thing to work, ride this thing around the city, buzz around traffic, similar to what you'd be using this for, but as you guys know, I love this bike and I enjoy every second riding this thing. I think it's a really good baseline for testing what you can get with a gas platform and what you can get out of an electric platform. Now this is something I've never had to do before, but the entire powerhouse of this bike is sitting right here on this bench plugged into the wall. I don't know what the heck is up with that doesn't make sense to me but this makes the bike go let's see if i can get this in here move the seat a little bit drop them in there like that this is all new for me but just like that battery is locked in there ready to go this is a commuter e-bike you know it's nothing like a suran or a mountain bike where you're going to be jumping it and ripping it off road doing crazy stunts on the streets five minutes later oh oh sh <sighs> oh god oh oh ow oh Oh, God dang. But this thing is just like a commuter bike through and through. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, we got a nice little screen. Ba ba ba. Wow. Got my freaking iPhone 2 plugged up right here. It actually has like five levels of pedal assist, I guess. So you hit this plus. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I was not ready for that, bro. What the? Okay. <clears throat> what the heck? I felt like I wasn't even pedaling. <laughs> that was so scary. Oh my god. I am new to the e-bike thing, that's for sure. Uh, okay. What I was saying, there's five levels of pedal assist. So I'm going to five, okay? That's going to give us the most power right off the bat. And I want to see how fast this thing can go. Let's go. Assuming this is accurate. All right, boom, 10. Yup, yup, yup. 20. 25. Cruising steady. 27. Oh, we're dropping now. Let me get let me get low with it. Oh, I like the aerodynamics. I'll tell you that much. 28, 29. Okay. Looks like 29 is where we're we're maxing out at. That's pretty solid, you know? It's like an on-off switch for the throttle, which you know, I wish it was like modular, but the thing cruises, and that's that's really what it's made to do. There's probably one thing that a bike needs to be able to do for me to enjoy it. And if you watched any of my videos before, you probably know that that one thing is doing a wheelie. The bike's top speed may be 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, but if I can figure out how to get that front wheel in the air like I am right now, I'm going to have the time of my life. And that's why something like this Honda Elite is so fun for me. It's such an unassuming, low-key bike that you would never expect to be able to stunt on. But what's even more unassuming than wheeling a 50cc scooter? A freaking commuter e-bike. So that's exactly what I set out to do. To set up the bike for stunning, I first changed the rear brake from the right side to the left side. This way, my right hand uses the throttle and my left hand can just focus on the rear brake. Next, I angled the seat down as much as possible to keep me from sliding off while doing a wheel. And finally, tilt the bars forward, cause I feel like it. Okay. I need to see if I can wheelie this bike without pedal assist first. See what I'm dealing with here. Wheelie skills, now's your time to shine. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, that was not actually bad. Okay, no, one more, one more. 
Ah, oh, coasting. Oh yeah, okay, I got it. Oh, I got it, boys. That is a good sign. Oh, okay. I'm kind of impressed by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we're safe to put the power on. Maybe I do need an electric bike after all. I think I might have found a problem we might have to fix to get some wheelies going on this guy. I don't know if you can see that, but as soon as I hit that rear brake, the power is cutting out. I might have to take out this sensor, bro. So that's what I did. Back at the garage, I unplugged the sensor from the brake housing and put it all back together so we were finally good to go. I literally went through all that work to try and get this front brake to not turn off the power when I realized that this plug right here, you can actually just unplug it and power works. <laughs> uh, didn't need to do all that unscrewing stuff, but you live and you learn, man. I'm fresh to these electric bikes, man. Give me a break. What I really want to do with this thing, since it doesn't have the most power, is figure out how I can put my weight on this back seat and do a wheelie. So I don't know how I'm ever going to get used to that, but sitting on this with my two back feet or something like this, stunt mode, doing a wheelie, bro. Oh, see, it's totally possible. Like, if you're going slow, it's got the torque for it. Totally gonna eat crap doing this. I don't know, man. It's so sketchy. But honestly, pulling up wheelies from a stop on this thing isn't the most hard thing to do in the world. I can't lie. <laughs> it's all about just modulating the rear brake because anyone who's ridden an electric bike with a hub motor knows they don't kick in the fastest. Like, there's a little delay when you give it throttle versus when the power actually hits. That's what you gotta get used to. You can't really get off the throttle and chop it like you would a, a dirt bike. All right, stunt mode, here we go. Ooh, okay, you saw me. Just gotta have that skill, bro, that finesse. Ooh, that ain't easy, bro, that ain't easy. Tell you what, man, this is definitely a whole other game. <laughs> it would take me a solid couple months to get nice to doing wheelies on this thing, but it has potential, I'll tell you that much. This is literally a workout, bro. Get an arm pump from wheelie and a freaking <sighs> dad bike. So I'm gonna go ahead and say the wheelie test was a fail. Yeah, you can wheelie a commuter e-bike, but it's really not gonna be the best time. And there are definitely better options if wheelies are your priority. With that being said, I don't think the hope for having fun with this bike is over. It's time for plan B. Let's go off-roading. Ready? Let's go. All oh right. Oh, I knocked the battery out, bro. What? Bro. I think I sent it too hard, man. Pushing e-bikes to their limit. I don't know if these things were built for me, bro. I'm a little different than the average Joe, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know how that came out, dude. I locked it. How do I get it into position? Okay, I actually don't think I had it locked all the way. I think we're good now. I'm gonna put that one on me, all right? That's not the bike. This thing's gonna get you around on the street, but unlike the scooter, you can do a little bit more off-road with stuff like this. You can really mess around, chuck it around in the dirt. I mean, you could do that with a scooter if you want, but hey, I'm not gonna suggest it, all right? I really wanna see how this thing handles on just some medium bike trails, you know? Nothing too intense, nothing too crazy. Just somewhere where you would take a mountain bike and cruise, but instead, you're on this little e-bike guy. For scientific reasons, I'm going to try and lift this bike into the back of the truck. This thing definitely isn't as light as a pedal bike would be, but hey, let's try it out. Oh, that's easy peasy, bro. Oh, frick. Ah, okay. That really wasn't that bad, I gotta say. The wheelie load is easy mode. Yeah, you never thought you'd be hitting the trails, did you? Today you are. Let's go. We are at a little bike trail right now. So hopefully put this thing through its paces, man. If I got a freaking bike, I want it to do bike stuff. So that's what we're gonna try and do. Oh God, I'm not this nimble, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think really this thing can handle it. It's nothing too crazy. The question is, can I handle it? And that's probably an overwhelming no, but ooh, I gotta send it anyways. It's like a little dirt bike, honestly. <laughs> yeah, son. Ooh, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Oh, hey, dear. What the fuck? Hey, what's up, bro? Oh, oh, God. Dude, I'm gonna get so abandoned back here. <sighs> Holy. Okay. There's no going back now, boys. We're in it for the long haul. Dude, it's actually crazy how many little crossings there are here. This is sick. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Look out. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yes. Yes. Yes, cheat! Oh, look at this, dude! Ooh. Oh, woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ah. Oh, wham bam! Thank you, ma'am. Lift, get up! Oh God, push! Oh Jesus, man! 
was goody. Imagine doing this on my Honda Elite that I was comparing to it earlier. I mean, when you're talking what this can do on the streets, yeah, Honda Elite's a good comparison, but right now, it's a totally different game. You are not taking any sort of scooter on this terrain right here. I'll tell you that much. I think that's what people really like about these e-bikes is that they're just so versatile. Like the amount of stuff you can do on this, you can commute to work on this thing on city streets going 30 miles per hour the whole way, or you could be dumb and come out here like I am. Woo Woo and have some of the most fun you're ever gonna have with 1200 bucks. Oh, so it's really up to you. And the best part is you're not bothering anybody, man. That's the difference. If I was out here with even a scooter or any sort of little pit bike, dude, I'm getting the cops called on me, all that type of stuff. And this thing, I'm just back here blending in, you know? Oh my God. Oh, holy crap. Oh shit. Oh God dang. Dude, this is torture testing for my body, let alone the bike. <laughs> Single track. Ooh, these roots, bro. Holy. Ooh. Ooh. It doesn't stop, bro. Ooh. Oh, ow. Oh, I think any of you guys know how bad it hurts to get shin slapped like that by the pedals. Oh, my legs have seen better days, bro. <laughs> I've had enough, man. Get me off this trail. I give it to the bike. It wins. I can't defeat it. Oh. So overall, with my short experience riding e-bikes, I would have to rate them terrible. Just kidding. I liked it.